Chief Medical Editor Dr. Richard Besser with very tough questions today for that Dallas hospital, asking the head of the hospital how did they mess up in the first place, sending Thomas Duncan home with that fever the first time he showed up? Your hospital was the first one where a patient walked in off the street and, and you missed it. H how did that happen? We were well prepared to take care of a patient who walked in holding a sign that says, I have Ebola. And uh, a couple weeks ago, it was a gentleman walking in off the street with uh, nonspecific symptoms who happened to have Ebola. And Dr. Besser joins us now from Dallas. First of all, who walks in with a sign announcing they have Ebola? And secondly, Rich, when he first walked into that hospital, he did have a fever of 103 degrees, did he not? He did, and they sent him home. But when he came back that second time and they knew he had Ebola, they weren't prepared either. Two of their health care workers are now in the hospital with Ebola themselves. And Rich, as we head into this weekend, you saw the report there on the cruise ship now and folks being kept on that ship. But as we head into this weekend, is there any way we can help you know, keep this hysteria at bay? You know, David, I really hope we can because people need to understand you only have risk when you're in contact with the body fluids of someone with Ebola. This passenger had never had contact with anyone with the disease. This is really an over-the-top action to, to put her in isolation. All right, Dr. Besser, putting this in perspective for us tonight. Rich, thank you. And one more image for you tonight from the animal shelter in Dallas where nurse Nina Fahm's beloved dog is being cared for. That's Bentley there in his crate playing with his chew toy. Those animal workers dressed in head-to-toe protective gear. Bentley said to be doing very well tonight.